Welcome back to My TV on day 3 of APACRS in vibrant Gujarat India. It's been an eye-opening few days filled with cutting edge science, industry leaders and over 1300 delegates from around the world. And while the weather may be damp, our spirits are anything but. To bring a European perspective, we spoke with president elect of the sister society ESCRS, Professor Burkhard Dick, who shared his thoughts on the power of cross societal collaboration. So India is an extremely important uh, destination. I think it's uh, the future lies in India because of the population and the bus that's uh, coming up here exchanging different sights and and different views on on even the same things is so exciting for me because it's amazing how different the world is but we are still reaching the same level of outcomes. Of course I would love to join you and see you in Copenhagen at the ECRS main congress. Uh, I think this will be a very big meeting and uh, with so many offerings. For example, we have Femto second anniversary, 30 years of Femto second and uh, of course we have a full program with uh, new arena topics and very interactive um, uh, formats of podium discussions and presentations so definitely worthwhile to come. Next up we made our way down to Upper Sami town where we caught up with the CEO Mr Santil Kumar to explore life at the cutting edge of Indian ophthalmic manufacturing and why a golden age for the subcontinent is just beginning So Upper Sami has been here for almost 4 and a half decades but we've been catering to basic intermediate needs now the market is demanding for us to do more and so we've coming out with a number of new product lines which will address the modern day needs of ophthalmologists companies are taking similar approaches it's just the scale at which we can do which is different by nature most indians or the indian ethos is to share and uh, i think a lot of the surgeon fraternity or the industry would love to share what we have done in india all over like places like africa southeast asia latam and and it could be helpful to scale up for them Please come to India. We would love to hear and learn from what you all are doing all over the world. We have some great people, great culture, and great food. And finally, we reconnected with an old media mice friend, Dr. Samita Mulani, who introduced us to the next generation of Indian women ophthalmologists and offered an inspiring take on the future of eye care in India. We have a great group over here. So, can you tell us how you are connected? So, uh, Karishma here and I are contemporaries. We actually went to medical school together when we were just seventeen, and we've known each other ever since. And uh, these young girls in the middle here, Rashi, I've known for several con uh, conferences, and we've really bonded. And we have Jyotsna and Bagishri here, who I've just met at this conference, and they're budding ophthalmologists, and they have all this young energy. So, we're just trying to help them and guide them. As a young ophthalmologist, can you tell us what? inspired you to follow this career path so the beauty of this field is to uh, seeing the joyful faces of the patient after giving them sight that's that's the most inspiration for me to take this path what areas of ophthalmology are you most excited to learn about this conference we got to see and uh, listen to so many experts around the globe uh, talk about many innovations in their country and personally i got to learn about newer iols which we haven't uh, done in our practice the areas i'm most excited about are research and recent advances and so we got new insights from the different ophthalmologists from different countries so that is all i'm excited about so i think uh, as any trainee would want whether it's post graduation or fellowship everyone would want more hands on training and typically if you're looking at a conference you would want to have some more than you're already getting in the institute that you work at so i think hands on training is something that's uh, the best bet if you want to see what can be done in this amazing field that we're all part of this is where it's all happening cutting edge technology research uh, scientific labs all of it so give india a chance because it's all really happening here and you'll be surprised at where we actually are at that's all from my tv at the 37th apacrs we'll see you next in copenhagen for escrs Until then stay focused stay visionary and dhanyawad